Hi, this afternoon. It's a long time since I made my last video. Today I'm going to make the video of my aquaponics strawberry that I'm testing. I'm testing uh, to grow strawberry in lowland equatorial with uh, using aquaponic methods. And it's been running for the last uh, couple of months and I have transferred this plant from the initial place where I grew it into grow bits uh, last two weeks or so and now I'm just letting them to recover and some are doing very well and let's uh, have a look what's uh, happening okay uh, initially I bought this plant from Cameron Highland that's a highland in Malaysia where the temperature is roughly around 20 degrees to 25 degrees in the lowland uh, equatorial, the temperature is very hot in the range of 30 to 40 degrees and the strawberry will have a hard time in growing in this warm weather even though if they can grow but uh, they will be having problem in uh, flowering because of the temperature uh, the high temperature involved but uh, I'm trying out and hopefully I can get something out of it at least I learned how to grow strawberry and I got 12 pots out of uh, the initial 6 or 7 pot that I bought from Cameron Highland and I redo the pots in individual hydrotons uh, like this example uh, I redo in hydroton pots and put it into grow bed it's easier to control this way because uh, I can move these pots if needed and as you can see from one of these plants, this is the initial plant from Cameron Highland and they have I've been tra I've transferred it to individual pots and they have grown runners and these runners I'm letting it to letting it grow and there are few runners all over the place runners what I use are these Uh, plastic coated wire I bend it into this kind of shape and hold down uh, the runners is uh, some people use paper clips uh, but I feel that this is much cheaper because there are plenty of this wire you can buy for for very cheap and uh, just cut it about four or five inches and bend it in to form this kind of shape so that you can hold uh, runners so that it will not be let me give you one example that's the uh, that's the wire holding these runners and soon I'm going to cut this I'm going to clip this off so that this particular runner will grow and take root once it's uh, severed from the umbilical only then I will provide I uh, let it grow uh, more runners there's more plants here this particular plant is uh, actually a daughter plant from one of the earlier uh, plants I obtained from Cameron Highland. This one is uh, coming from runners. I planted it on hydroton and transferred it into these pots. And it already has formed runner of its own. You can see here, there's one runners, there's another runners inside. And it's uh, going out a few more runners here. Uh, in currently what I'm doing I'm not uh, trying to get it to flower or fruit what I'm trying to do is try to produce as many runners as possible to fill up uh, almost all of my grow bed in the front yard and I know uh, in order for the plant to grow you have to clip off the runners but for this next uh, couple of months or few more months what I'm trying to do is try to get as many runners as possible so that uh, slowly they will try to adapt to the lowland. That's another grow bed that I'm having. This grow bed uh, I put uh, nettings because this is more in the opens. Strawberry is very sensitive uh, to direct sunlight when it's in the lowland equatorial. The, the sun is very intense and they will burn up the, the leaf. So to do protection, I shield it from the midday sun by using um, shades. Uh, few of the plants have suffered heat damage, 
like these plants these plants I already cut off trim off all the leaf and these plants also unfortunately this particular plants uh, looks like the the crown is already uh, rotting and I will just let it be there for next one or two weeks then I'll pull it out once I have uh, another runners to replace its place and these are also location I have my aquaponics pump switch off because of the noise it's going to make and sharing the strawberry grow bits will be a few seeds that I sown uh, and I'm using this to replant my aquaponics set okay uh, let's have a look at my ornamental set that I'm having strawberry and I pull out most of the plant and only left one which is this main plant here uh, reason that I left it here because it was producing runners at that time it was producing runners and now the runners is uh, getting bigger and there are more runners coming from this plant and here another one and with strawberries the runner will be daisy chain from one to the other like this uh, this runner is already uh, coming out runners of his own so what I'll do I will clip off these runners and prevent it from going out from this plant at the moment until it uh, can establish itself then I will cut the this um, umbilical and once it can grow on its own then I will allow it to grow runners a few more here and uh, this particular runners already roughly around close to two and a half to three weeks so I just leave it for another couple of weeks and I will cut off the runners normally what I do I wait for it to form about five or six leaves now we have one two three four and this is coming out to five and just leave it to have another one then I will cut even here there's a runners here and uh, I will cut it off later on it will grow more runners uh, let it grow for to get back bigger then I will go so what I intend to do with this uh, stock I will let it populate the whole uh, grow bit which is my ornamental set this ornamental set by, by the way it's been running fine and it's been switched off also because of noise you're going to make the fish will be in there uh, for the last six months this water has not been changed and you can see it's very clear and this is using a 20 millimeter siphon I'm making few more of this set as, as, as a experimental set and my intention is to make it available so that other people can uh, experiment either normal aquaponics or if they want strawberries so my intention is to produce more uh, runners or seedling of strawberries so that I can use this particular grow bit which is currently have mince and mince is the favorite buffer plant that I always use if I do not have any plants to grow in the grow bit so that they can just keep up uh, use up the nitrates and at least I do not have to bother about planting anything at the moment so once I have enough runner what my intention is to remove all this min and uh, plant strawberry and make a proper shades on these things right uh, that's about it on my short video on my aquaponic set which I'm trying out strawberry and hopefully it will grow without uh, any problem bye thanks for watching